Look at that shadow. Looking at that just makes me smile. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and fooies for you today. And I have really been loving kind of like mustardy, bronzy sort of eye looks. Um, I have a cream blush favorite that I really like. And then, oh my goodness, this glossy lip, y'all, is so good. So got some good things to chat about. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off for eyes, I broke this back out of my collection and played with it again. This palette is so stunning. The Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I mean, just the packaging alone is incredible. Is it my favorite packaging of all the Naked palettes? I'm trying to think of what the other ones look like, but I'm pretty sure it's up there, but it's probably my very favorite because that's just amazing. It looks like melted honey metal or something. It's awesome. So I obviously have this on my eyes today. So main colors I was playing with, I kind of was going more for this neutral first and then bringing in a little bit of the mustardy shade. So on the lid, I was doing a combo of this one and this one. So kind of bronzy, mustardy golden. And then I use a little bit of this in my outer corner and kind of a little bit into my crease and a tiny little bit of that, but I'm out of fingers. So you get the idea, it's kind of a, just a dark chocolate brown. So Urban Decay shadows will always be one of my favorite shadow formulas because I've used them for years. There's nostalgia there, but also I feel like they're just one of the best formulas ever. They are pigmented, a little bit soft, but not overly soft. It's more so you just don't have to dig your brush in there because they're so pigmented. I mean, look how stunning that is. I did wear this by itself one day and just, you know, the other color, so didn't combine it with that. And then you get more of a bronzy eye look, but combining them kind of gives, let me just mix them together there for you. Kind of makes this coppery, mustardy sort of color. Beautiful. So pigmented, long wearing, absolutely love them. And yeah, like I said, I mean, this packaging alone, that's just beautiful. I always get sucked in by beautiful makeup packaging. It's just an added bonus, especially palettes. Palettes have always been kind of my first makeup love. I've always loved collecting them. I've always loved the different kinds of packaging in them. So yeah, eyeshadow palettes in general always suck me in, but if they have beautiful packaging, that's just a mega bonus. So I've got that palette on my eyes and then also these two moon dust shadows. So wore these and really enjoyed them. These are definitely those kind of shadows that I just, I don't know, just periodically break them out of my collection and I love them every single time. So first one is Space Cowboy. Look at that shadow, oh my gosh. I love this so much. I have mentioned this so many times on my channel. It just never gets old to me. It's just always incredible. So that one is Space Cowboy. And then the other one is Diamond Dog. And this one is like a dark, taupey, chocolatey kind of color. Oh my. <laughs> That's amazing. These are so cool. I love that these just are, I don't know, kind of a wash of really fine shimmer. So pretty. So yeah, I mean, if you want more of a dramatic smoky eye look with some shimmer to it, definitely go with Diamond Dog. But this one I definitely get the most use out of because you can use it in different ways because it has more of a kind of neutral champagne base. Um, so on my eyes today, I just applied it over the other shadows. So it's definitely more subtle because you see more of those shadows kind of shining through underneath, you know what I mean? So I have a little bit of this kind of in the middle and then over a little bit, and then I have a little bit of this on the inner part of my lid, but just so sparkly. It's not chunky glitter. It is definitely more of a sparkle that just catches the light so beautifully. Fun for holidays. I mean, oh my gosh. Looking at that just makes me smile. <laughs> it's so much fun. So yeah, I mean, you obviously have to like shimmer to enjoy it because it's super shimmery, but if you don't like chunky glitter, maybe try this. Um, it's different. I'm looking to see 
I really, I mean, of course I'm digging my hand into the container to get it on my finger and then apply it to my eyes. So that kind of, you know, rough application does get some fallout on my face, but I just brush it away with a brush um, and follow up with my concealer. So I don't find it a big ordeal to use it, you know, and apply it. It's so pretty, I love them. Okay, blush favorite this week. So a new drugstore product that I'm really impressed with and kind of surprised how much I like it because it's a cream blush. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. And I'm really picky about cream blushes and they're just typically not my favorites, but I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so Cheek Kiss in Nude Kiss. I have it on today and you can see that little bit of glow. I don't have a highlighter on, so that's just really the blush. So this is, you can see how creamy it is. I mean, there's definitely a lot of hydration there. So usually, I don't know, I just find cream blushes to be kind of hard to get them even. Um, I don't know, with my combo oily skin, sometimes they don't wear as well. So yeah, I'm just usually kind of more picky with them. So there it is. You can see a little bit of glow to it. So what impresses me about this is it blends well. I wouldn't say as well as a powder blush just because of my skin type, my slightly oilier skin type. Um, I usually find powders blend better for me. If you have drier skin, you'll probably like cream blushes better, but I find that for a cream blush, this blends well on me. I use a small stipple brush with it and I kind of tap it on and I find that that works better than buffing so then I'm not removing my makeup underneath, you know what I mean, that I already have on. So I kind of stipple it on and just sort of do this sort of a motion to apply it with an e.l.f. small stipple brush. And I've been very impressed with how this has worn. I have not noticed fading with it. I mean, it stays very vibrant and I'm just impressed with it. I like that it has a little bit of a glow to it. This color is, I would say, less nude. I mean, it says Nude Kiss, but really that's maybe kind of like a corally peachy nude. It's not super duper nude. I mean, well, it's not a brownie nude, I should say. It's more of a, it's got more of that corally peachy sort of a tone to it. You see it there. So yeah, I mean, for a cream blush, I'm impressed with it. I kept reaching for it, which tells me I like it. You know what I mean? I usually, if I like something, I'm going to keep reaching for it and using it. And I was doing that. So yeah, I'm impressed with this. And then y'all, this lip color. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. So I had heard some other people talking about these. The Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. And I got a set from QVC. I will link it for you. QVC is like the place to get beauty things. If you can find if you know if they carry the brand i mean they always have such good deals and sets i get a lot of stuff from qvc so anyway tart merry kissmas lip quad so you get four of these in there let me just show you the bottom of them so you can see so you get those three colors and then you get this one but this is the one that i was wearing so this is my favorite for the week this is rose rose in very tiny letters rose so it is a click up kind of a packaging i was trying to think it's not like a lip crayon necessarily but it's just a a long packaging that has a click up sort of a situation okay this is a beautiful super glossy neutral pink <laughs> i was trying to think of how to describe it neutral pink so i would describe this Look how glossy that is. It looks like a gloss on the lips and it feels incredible. So hydrating. And for how thick of a formula it is, it doesn't feel overly heavy or uncomfortable. If you keep applying a lot of layers, your lips will start to stick together. But I mean, anything glossy like this, that's gonna happen. So you just really like, a couple quick layers, I would say, is a good amount. And then you just get this super hydration, this super glossy look, and it has a natural 
coconut scent to it. It doesn't smell like coconut lotion or something like that. It smells like actual coconut shavings to me, like real coconut. So love that about it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Let me see if the packaging says anything. It says loaded with 18 plus antioxidant rich fruits for maximum nourishment and healthy shine. Click button reveals the perfect amount of product every time. So click up once and apply to lips. So yeah, super hydrating, super glossy. I'm in love with this product. Okay guys, those are all my favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you've been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.